How to calculate your OEE. Welcome back to our OEE series. In the previous episodes, we explored the fundamentals of OEE, uncovered the three factors, availability, performance and quality, and introduced you to the OEE staircase in relation to our bucket production process. Today, we're going to dive into the world of numbers and learn how to actually calculate our OEE. Our first factor contributing to our OEE score is our availability, which measures the percentage of time that our equipment is available for production. OEE doesn't take into account time where the machine is planned to be unavailable. So we need to start by subtracting our planned downtime from our total time. This leaves us with 8.5 hours of available time for the machine to function and is the point where we begin calculating our OEE from. Our unplanned downtime totals 1.5 hours. We can subtract this from our 8.5 hours of available time to find our machine's runtime. Our machine therefore operated for seven out of the 8.5 hours available. Availability is the ratio of our machine's runtime to its available time. Across our shift, our machine's availability was therefore 82%. Our second factor is performance. Performance takes into account anything that causes the manufacturing process to run at less than the maximum speed possible. We know that our machine was running for seven hours. So based on our cycle time of 15 seconds, we should have been able to make just under 1,700 buckets. However, we only created 1,200, which should have taken us five hours. This is known as our standard time produced. Once we've subtracted this from our machine's runtime, we're left with two hours of time that we lost to speed losses. The ratio of our standard time produced to runtime gives us our performance. Across our shift, our machine's performance was 71%. Our final factor affecting our OEE is quality, which measures the proportion of good parts produced during the production time. We already know that our machine produced 1,200 buckets across the shift. However, this figure is made up of good buckets and scrap buckets. Our machine produced 400 scrap buckets across the shift. This leaves 800 good buckets, which based on our 15 second cycle time should have taken 3.3 hours to produce. This is known as our standard time earned. Once we've subtracted this from our standard time produced, we are left with a scrap time of 1.7 hours. The ratio of our standard time earned to our standard time produced gives us our quality across our shift. Our machine's quality was therefore 67%. With our availability, performance and quality all calculated, we can multiply these together to find our overall OE percentage of 39%. However, we can also look closer into this if we break down and visualize the equations. Our availability is the ratio of runtime to available time. Our performance is the ratio of our standard time produced to runtime. And our quality is the ratio of our standard time earned to standard time produced. Basic algebra allows us to cancel out the duplicates across the equation, giving us another equation to calculate our OEE, the ratio of standard time earned to available time. Our bucket production process produced 3.3 hours worth of quality buckets in the 8.5 hours available. That's a loss of 6.7 hours of production time across this shift. This score acts as a powerful indicator of our manufacturing performance, but visualizing each of the factors across our staircase allows us to identify the areas where we are losing valuable production time and drive improvement to become a world-class manufacturer. Thank you.